Hey everybody, it's me, Miss Samantha from Giano Options. Um, I'm out I'm here outside enjoying the sun and the nice weather and I thought maybe if you guys had a chance you guys could go outside too and enjoy this book that I'm about to read. Maybe we just go sit by a window and enjoy the sun hitting your face. <laughs> so let's get to the book. The book I'm reading today is The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew DeWalt. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Okay. There's a stack of letters with his name to Duncan. <laughs> hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines and apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. <laughs> I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm gonna, I'm going to completely lose it. <laughs> You're a very neat friend, purple friend. Hopefully you guys are coloring inside the lines because not purple friends gonna tell you something. <laughs> Dear Duncan, I am tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I am also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Well, beige crayon is sad. Poor beige crayon. <laughs> Do you think you have any sad crayons? Hopefully not. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know the elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. <laughs> And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those big things? Such big animals. But baby penguins are gray, you know. So are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, gray crayon. Look at that. Elephants and the rhinos and then there's great crayons very tired. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on. What do you think? What color do you think that is? Of course, white. If you didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. Oh, poor white crayon. You can't even see him on this white page. <laughs> Dear Duncan, I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors all of which think they are brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other colors. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. <laughs> Look at the black rainbow and the black beach ball. How about next time you guys try to draw a black beach ball? <laughs> Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful 
coloring things green career so far. <laughs> the second reason I write is for my friends yellow crayon and orange crayon who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. <laughs> Your happy friend green crayon. Look at the green. Dinosaurs and green crocodiles. But who do you think is the color of the sun? Yellow or orange? Let's find out. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I will tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your happy form coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun. Yellow crayon. Uh oh. So I guess yellow thinks he's the true color of the sun. And I guess Duncan did use him to color the sun. Oh, but let's see what orange has to say. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talk to you. The big whiner. Anyway. Could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I'm clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, he used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages on your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! <laughs> You're a pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. Oh, orange. You're so punny. Well, look at there. Orange all happy and then yellow all sad because Duncan used orange that day as the sun. I don't know. I think they both could be the color of the sun, but that's just me. Dear Duncan, it's been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. <laughs> what do you think is Duncan's favorite color? Mine's is green. What's yours? So let's see what's Duncan's favorite color. I really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. What do you think it is from all those clues? But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. So I guess Duncan's favorite color is blue. I'm like it. It's chooky. It's all short and stubby. <laughs> Duncan, okay listen here kid, you have not used me once in this past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused pink, your unused friend of pink crayon. Wouldn't that be funny, a pink cowboy? I think it's pretty cute, and the pink dinosaur. I would totally draw a pink dinosaur. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like it to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. <laughs> See, don't pull off the wrappers of the crayons. That's how they feel. Don't do it. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. I wonder what Duncan's idea is. Let's see, let's go find out. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. Ooh, look at this picture. Wow. That is amazing. I bet you guys could do something like that. Look at all that. The orange whale. Wow, he listened to Great Crayon. I mean, to Orange Crayon. Oh, Great Crayon, yeah. And then the pink dinosaur and the purple. 
The purple dragon? The black rainbow? I think you guys could do a black rainbow. Such a good picture, Duncan Drew. And an A plus for creativity. So what did you guys think of the book I chose? I really liked it. And I don't know, I think you guys, you guys should go out and try, go inside today and try to draw something nice or go outside and draw something nice. Use all the crayons in your color in your crayon box because you never know how your crayons are feeling. Enjoy your time guys. Bye!